Hello again, everyone, and welcome to Coffee Break Q&A. My name is Michael Moret. Coffee Break Q&A is your opportunity to ask your Bible questions. I'll give you my email address at the end of the broadcast where you can send any questions that you might have. All I ask is that you keep them Bible-related because along with Scripture verse by verse where I teach the whole Bible verse by verse, from Genesis through Revelation at the BibleVerseByVerse.com. This is a Bible-focused ministry. We're all about the Bible here. That's it. It's the Word of God, the most important thing in the world. So we have a question today about the Word of God, and uh, it's a good one. It's a fun one. I like, I like questions that take us right to Scripture, and this one does. He is talking about First Peter, no, actually Second Peter, chapter 1, verse 3. And he wants to know what it means that God has given us everything that we need for life and godliness through our knowledge of him. And uh, that is an extremely important question, especially today. We're living in an age in modern evangelicalism, and we have now for quite some time, where um, from time to time, evangelicalism comes up with a modern fad, a fad, and it takes the country by storm. And people write books, and people create workbooks, and some people make a lot of money, and the fad is supposedly how you, you know, can live a godly life or get your prayers answered or become more like Jesus. And then the fad fizzles and a new one emerges. Well, here we see in verse 3 of Second Peter, According as his power hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him. So, please don't tell me that Jesus Christ doesn't give us Christians all that we need to live a godly life because I'm not going to believe it. It's not scriptural. There are people today who say, you know, the problems are so complicated today that we need more than the Bible and we need more than Jesus. They're either stupid or they're lying. And I know they're stupid and I know they're lying because the Bible says right here that his divine power has given us all things that pertain to life and godliness through our knowledge of him. So it's this simple. The more we know Jesus, the more power he gives, gives us to live a godly life. That's what the Bible teaches. And there are no alternatives to that. And so we see that there are no tricks or techniques to holiness. And you can throw away your how-to books how to live for God, how to be holy, how to get along with your spouse, how to make right decisions, and so on and so forth. Just forget it. You don't need it. Open up your Bible, read it, read it, read it, and then meditate on it and talk to God about it because he will infuse wisdom and holiness into your soul like nothing else can. Holiness is is a result of you and I spending time with Jesus. Because when we spend time with Jesus through his word and through prayer, he rubs off on us. That's what it boils down to. It's not any more complicated than that. You just have to spend time with him. Spending time with Jesus increases our holiness and our Christ-likeness. And if you have a question for us, for me, you can send it to scriptureversebyverse at gmail.com.